Hey guys, what's up? Got some TCGO for you today because um, I don't feel like doing any PO. So yeah. Um, speaking of which, uh, or not speaking of which, Ace card. I have it. Um, the thing is that uh, I need the PAL pad in the VS recorder to start getting stuff up. Uh, Wi-Fi battles up for you, and it's a mulligan on the first turn. Um, and I really don't feel like playing through the game up into the point where I get those two items because I really don't like this game at all. Um, I I've I don't I just don't like it, and it's it's hard for me to play through it because I don't like it unless there's a way to get a save file that I can create on my own. Um, you know. Then uh, you let me know if there's an easier way to do it. Um, but otherwise, we're going to face this guy. So he has a Chikorita, a couple Pikachu's. Um, he's going to do over right there, try and get some more basics. Um, he has this weird mix of uh, basic uh, water, basic grass, and basic yellow. Um, I really don't understand this deck. I mean, I guess this is on novice because I don't have the deck to be an um, expert. Um, which, if I can get more packs and codes and stuff, I can get more cards, and that'd be great, and then I could build a psychic deck that I really wanted to build. Um, but here I'm going to dual ball of my own, get a bell sprout out, because I really want another basic on my bench. Um, just to decide to start, uh, building up my, uh, bell sprout up on the active. As I show off bell sprout a little bit, he has any moves, inviting scent, which will, uh, act like carnivine's move, which will switch a bench Pokemon with the active Pokemon on the opponent's side. Uh, and he also has a careless tackle, which does 10 damage to itself and 20 to the opponent. Uh, here I decide to get a weepin' bell, and again, my computer likes to be really slow and not let me select cards. Um, so here I decide to pause and then select, and then unpause, and get my Weepin' Bell for next turn, and uh, I can go from there. So, um, I think that this... Oh, I go for the Engineer's Adjustment, get rid of that, get four more cards. Um, draw into a basic, I'm going to put that card on the bench, good. I draw into two Professor Oaks, um, which I can use, only use one next turn. Um, here I decide to Inviting Scent out of Pikachu, because um, that buys me a turn, if he doesn't have the energy needed to attack me, which he just ends up putting another grass energy on the Chikorita anyway, so it's not like it mattered. Um, here I decide to evolve the Bell Sprout and the active into a Weepin' Bell. As I go for the Pokeball, don't get it, unfortunately. Um, now I just decide to set a, a grass energy on my Weepin' Bell and then play a Professor Oak to get a new hand because mine kind of sucked a lot. Um, I draw into some stuff. Uh, Dual Ball, Elm, Oak, uh, Carnivine, all that stuff. Sorry about that. Um, here I decide to corrode target, which is uh, it does like 20 damage to the opponent, or 10 damage, and then and if I get heads, I get to discard a card from his hand. So I decide to get rid of the Cedra to kind of disrupt his um, Kingdra going on there. Um, here I show off his move, um, my Weeping Bell's moves and stuff. Um, he's going to decide to engineer's adjustment, and I'm pretty sure he pulls into a Cedra this turn, or next turn. Um, he's going to try and attack me, but he gets two hails, which means his attack does nothing, and um, it's all good in the hood. Um, I'm going to decide to use that Professor Elms' turn to get a victory bell going, um, and again, my computer hates me, so I have to pause and unpause, and um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to evolve that. Um, I don't think I have Professor Oak this turn, because I have a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure that I go with that plus power just so I can kill off the Pikachu this turn. Um, and while we're on TCGO real quick, uh, as I draw a prize, um, winners of my tournament uh, is uh, Shroomtastic. Congratulations, I'll be sending your pack codes your way later on. And um, also, then that's my Latios. Um, they both ended up in the finals, but um, Shroomtastic won it, so he gets five and... That's my lot of goods too. So those will be out to you guys later on. Um, he just decides to evolve his uh, horsey, put a water NG on it, um, and attack me. I'm just going to go ahead, dual ball, try and get some basics. Um, I don't. Um, put an energy on the bell sprout um, and stuff because uh, my weeping bell or my victory bell is fully set up, and that's all ways good. So I draw into a whole bunch of energy. A Parasect, a Plus Power, and a Metapod. Um, not too great of a hand. The energy is nice, but it's not uh, necessary. Here, I just decide to um, 
Go for my attack, which uh, does 30 damage, poisons, and burns the foe, which is really good, and that just makes me happy. So, because uh, he gets poisoned and burned, which means his Chikorita dies, and I'm able to draw a prize from that, which is a Caterpie. Um, he's going to bring out his Seedra, Kingdra, which uh, Water will do 30 damage to one of my any Pokemon on my side. Hydro Pump does 30 plus 50 if it if he discards an energy to his hand, which he doesn't, and he just water arrows me for 30 damage. Um, I'm going to decide to Pokemon Communication out the Metapod, I think? I'm pretty sure I just go for the Metapod. Yep. And I'm going to get a Paris. Yep. And uh, lay it down, start setting that thing up, and then go in next turn, evolve it into Parasect. So, you know, I got this plan. Uh, this, this game is looking to be mine. I mean, he doesn't have a great deck. But, um, you know, it's, eh. it's hard to find good games with Novice, and I can't, I know, I, I've tried playing on Expert, I just can't do it with this deck. Um, so, Novice for now, until I get something better. Um, things, uh, just go ahead, burn poison shenanigans, the uh, Kingdra, I don't know how much, I think I'm trying to see how much damage I have on it right now. As he just goes for that hydro pump to get an energy back into his hand, um, I think I get the burn. Yeah, I, I, he doesn't get too lucky with his burn flips and stuff. Um, here, I just decide to evolve my Paris into Parasect, attach an energy to it, and um, you know, go from there. So, I, I really want to know how much damage that thing has. It has 70. It has needs 130 to be KO'd. And uh, I just go for the plus power because I think two poisons will kill it, or a poison and a burn will kill it. And that's what I'm trying to do. Plus, I want to get um, as much damage on this thing as possible. Even if my victory bell dies, I can easily go out into Parasect, Parasect to finish it off. Which is weird, because I never thought I would say that I would use a Parasect to uh, be finishing it off. But I will be. Um, he's just gonna dual ball, try and get basics on the bench, I guess. Um, it's not looking too good for him. This game is basically mine. Um, he has a Toto Dial. He can't really do anything to me. Um, he's just gonna kill me off this turn, which is fine. Uh, because, like I said earlier, I have Parasect. And, uh, Parasect can basically clean up house. Um, I think that... No, it doesn't die. Oh, it does die. It does die this turn because of poison, and I'm able to take another prize. And uh, I have three left. He has five left. I'm not too afraid. Um, I think I'm going to go for the Professor Elm and get a Weepin Bell just to uh, start setting up this uh, other Bell Sprout I have on the bench, or I've had on the bench for a very long time. Um, it, it doesn't need anything else energy wise, but, um, you know, it's nice to have. That secondary victory bell going. Um, here I show off my Parasect. It goes has move Sleep Drain, which uh, puts a defending Pokemon to sleep, and it heals four damage counters off of my Parasect. So, um, like I've said many times, this deck is basically about draining energy from your opponent. Um, you know, status and all that. It's, it's that's basically what it's used for, and it works very well. Um, all he has left is a Croconon, a Horsey. Um, Croconaw has a uh, weakness to grass, which means I'll be able to KO it next turn. And uh, that horsey doesn't have enough to live scratch, cut, cut, I think, or slash. As slash. Um, it does 60 damage. Uh, not very good for 3 energy, I suppose, but, you know, it doesn't matter too much because Parasect doesn't need to, isn't really one of my heavy hitters, to be honest. And, um, I think. No, it's next turn. I'm just going to go for head for slash, kill off the croconaw. He probably didn't see the grass weakness and just left it in. I don't know. Um, but it's dead. I pull into my burn tower, um, which is cool. Um, I have one prize left. The Shikorita doesn't have enough energy to live a um, slash. Um, I don't know why he brought it in, honestly. Um, you can't attack with it. I'm going to be able to KO it this turn with a slash, and that's going to be the end of the game. So I hope you all enjoyed this rather short match. And, um, it's a noobish deck. I'll try and get a better one next time. Um, 
but uh, you know, we'll just see what happens. Um, I am going to try my hardest to uh, get uh, that playthrough of Black and White done because I really just, you know, don't feel like doing PO anymore. I'm kind of bored with it. Um, I want to do more Wi-Fi battles again because I like those. Um, uh, I don't even know what else there is. Uh, do 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 do. You know, I just don't feel like playing through it. Yeah. So, I'm going to go get a snack and watch some stuff on the YouTubes and stuff. And, um, you know, so I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Leave a dislike if you didn't. That helps, lets me know a lot. Um, I will, uh, oh, yeah. Just like if you didn't, um, what else? I don't even know. Um, go check out my channel. Leave a sub if you haven't already. I upload pretty much regularly. I'm going to stick to five days a week, Monday through Friday, because I don't like uploading on the weekends, because that's when I like to rest. So, there you go. See you next time. Yep, bye.